Good morning guys, ignore the lawnmower outside. I am so excited for today, you have no idea. This is my first vlog in so long, like really doing something. Watching back this footage. We have a few exciting things happening. First off, I can make a video live this morning, which always excites me. Second, um, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this. My kitchen renovation starts today. This also didn't happen, I was lied to. How exciting. And then third, the thing I'm really the most excited for is we have our first in-studio shoot for the living room. So I'll take you guys to the studio. We're going to Bishop Arts. We're going to the Texas studio. If any of you guys are in Dallas and want to go, I don't know. Me again. I actually really would recommend the studio though. Side note, um, for anything that you guys need, it's very like COVID friendly, um, very sanitary, all that stuff. Uh, just you wait for the end of the vlog, guys. So number four, we're going to Tribal, my favorite coffee shop in all of Dallas for breakfast. I'm wearing this cute like Revolve set. This spring, my plan is to only wear sets that look like pajamas and sandals. It's not spring, but I'm just like keeping you guys posted. My living room spiel. If you guys didn't know, um, the living room is kind of like my faith-based like brand almost there's a patreon that's where all the content is when i was younger and like getting into faith i never felt like i really connected with so many of the like super southern people and i love them and like some of them are my some of them are like my greatest friends but i just didn't feel like i really connected with that when i was younger and i was always looking to i was always looking for like content or maybe something that was like more creative or more at my field or whatever so and it's not only for people who are like resonating with me i'm bringing like so many people on it's so exciting I cannot wait. The concept's actually really cool, like even if you are not a faith person. I have some outfits that I might wear. I'm gonna wear this. I used the Sephora um, foundation. Where is that? This is what I've been using for... Wait, it like actually has disappeared. So, these are my two new go-to products. I have the Rare Beauty Primer. So good, so, so good. I'll link it below. And then the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Unreal, it's literally $20 guys. I cannot recommend this to you enough and then I actually use the Sephora 64 brush I just picked a random brush at Sephora um, Because they were out of the brush that actually went along with this one And it turns out that it's like a crowd fave and the brush is so good. So I apply it with a brush. I love it It's amazing link below this outfit is revolve this set which I probably will wear like a white turtleneck under it is misguided no nasty gal these sweaters are Revolve for those who maybe last during the day and I'll probably forget because I'm just so excited. All right, I need to put shoes on and like get going, you know? Just being super professional, packing up my Juicy Couture gym bag, and then I have my outfits. I actually changed them, so I'm just doing pretty much all sets from Revolve because it's easier, they're really comfortable. Um, but yeah, have my cute little Juicy gym bag, which I don't think this is available. I've had this for a few years, but honestly, it is the perfect bag. Like, I love this thing. See, look, Juicy by Juicy. Ah, back to my roots. We made it, guys. We're going to Tribal, my favorite place in all of Dallas. It's so good. We went to Tribal, my favorite drink. <laughs> it's so good, I know yeah. it sounds so good. I feel like I'm like, I'm gonna No, I feel that. It's a lover. It's so good. I know. Great. Guys, we got the most beautiful oatmeal from Tribal. So good. This place is my favorite coffee shop in Dallas. Come here. I meant to get two single shots of espresso because I was making Dom drink with me, but they gave me a double shot. So she Dom got out of me. No, and now Dom tried to hit me on my own, and now she got played. Yeah, I played myself, basically. Like so I can't take this as like a shot. I played this to my 18 year old self, but you like, could. mature. Played yourself like the violin. Happy Black History Month. You're supposed to sip on espresso shots too. Yes. I guess this is my sign of trying to be mature and not try to like take it like I'm at a frat party, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're here, sorry. We're here at the studio, the Texas studio. We have this until, we have it for six hours. So we have a lot of shooting to do. Um, the lighting, good to know though, lighting in studio one is just better at this time. But anyways, we're trying to set up the first few shoots. It's gonna be a great time. Got some Topo Chico's over here, very Texan of them. It's just amazing. And then you have these backdrops, which we love. Um, I like these though. And there's white on this background too, which is really cool. We'll probably use that for something else, but I really like the brown here. As we know, I'm a big brown girl these days. This is our first setup. It looks a lot better on the camera that we rented. The quality is 
amazing, very exciting. We're having some technical difficulties. We've been here um, for about a minute. It's fine though. We're gonna make it work. Um, don't worry. Guys, it is now 4.30. Dom is recording a podcast. We just filmed so much content. Like we did four car confessionals, eight Bible studies, an intro and a bonus video that you guys can get for free if you do the sign up thing with Dom. It was really good. We talked about like church hurt. We talked about honestly everything like identity, anxiety, like literally so many different things. Like actually so much stuff. I don't even know. I'm kind of brain dead at this point because we, I've just been so focused. We're packing up now. We have a lot of stuff kind of all over the place now. Um, but I feel great. Feeling good. This is a very good time. I actually like... Next time, I do think we should do like a two day shoot. Mm -hmm. And then, honestly, or even you can rent this for 20 hours. Wow. And I know that's long. Like, you just go from like 8 to 8, then you would just have it for 12. Like, the whole idea is that you just have it for the whole day. No one else yeah. has it. You can come whenever you want. Uh, you wouldn't go for 20 hours straight. I no, I think I actually could. But I do think that would be a good idea. Because if I'm trying to do like three or four months of content out, yeah. um, it could potentially be good. But. Yeah, it was a good time. I'm literally so brain dead. Sid brought us Chick-fil-A and she saved my life because she brought us an extra memory card. We went through like this amount with some of these are 128 and another one. Actually, there's two more that you guys don't even see here, right here. So um, that's a good lesson to learn. I don't even know, like how many am I supposed to bring? So many, okay. So you've been praying for or experienced the healing or so me focus that I notice, you know, the more that I'm thinking about myself, the more I'm thinking about how to make me happier, how to make me a better person, the more anxious I'm becoming. The more when I take off that burden of trying to make people understand me, I felt there were a lot of black people and I always felt like a little awkward and like there wasn't anyone like me. And I was just surprised like with my specific situation that people were way more open about it. Yeah. You know? Thing of me working as hard as I did in this season is in that season is I remember being so tired, so like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. How could this be God where I'm so exhausted? This looks nothing like what I imagined God calling me to. And being on the other end of that and slowly stepping into a new career. When someone says like, oh, I'm, I'm applying to medical school, like I'm planning to go to medical school, dental school, whatever it is, it's like, if you're not, if you don't study, like, if you're not planning to do the same thing, I don't think people really understand how much work and time goes into it. Yes. And I met, it's actually a really crazy thing. So this is how God works, right? <laughs> the one way. The one way. I'm an expert. Right on the brink of it, in divorce <laughs> You weren't really Oh, we know 100%. Yeah, and so that was literally, we got really close. Mm -hmm. And we were both just kind of like doing our own things in life. Yeah. And then literally within a year, we're both somehow in Bible college <laughs> that you least likely. Not to be. No, and not just any Bible college. Like <laughs> leadership, <laughs> Holy Spirit filled Bible college, going to the nations, pouring yeah. myself out, Bible college. Like, yeah. Yeah. We stayed so close and are still so close. Yeah. Was um, a beautiful move of God. And I think it was me. Yeah. It was so works. <laughs> you were the only one going through the same thing. Exactly. Right? It's like Second Corinthians 12, Paul's story in his flesh. It's so seriously sufficient, and if the Lord really did take care of everything on the cross, there has to be an exchange. This perspective, it's tricky because it's like, mm -hmm. you're making God seem so small. Because it's like, how about this? Like, something that I've struggled with and a lot of people have messaged me about is, like, you know, um, God has called you to something, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're supposed to do things like, out of rest, also following God, and it's like, at what point are you following God and walking alongside God, and then like helping God, to where you're like taking control into your own hands? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, you did this, and it's like, okay, but I don't want to, and this is not who I am. So it's it renews your mind. That is the place where He has to father you, though, and that's where like, and you just receive. Like it's a beautiful place. I think that's actually what it is for me. It puts you in a really big place of receiving, like. When your yeah. parents cook for you, when your parents do all these things. It's it actually. Yeah, like, it just comes because you're from a place of like, not being able to just receive freely. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you kind of get out of that place? And can you like, share more about, like, what it was like when you were in that place and what you were trying to do? Like, because I always thought, like, oh, you're asking me to lay this down if one bad thing happened. And it's like, no, I never asked you that. And, like, I'd give money away. It's like, now you're broke. <laughs> <laughs> I never asked you for anything, and I'm wondering why. And it's like, why do you? I never asked for 
covered that. Before we even get into this, we are so for local church. We love the church, and it's so yeah. important that especially the churches that we've been a part of have changed us forever. And oh, like the yeah. people there, I mean, we met there, like the most incredible Can places. You, like every like, half yeah. of my life, church from church. Yeah. it's just it's, I am who I am because of it. Like no, it's it's one hundred percent so important. So I think with that being said, let's get into yeah the church. And uh, yeah, share a little bit about your experience. Well, I think what's interesting about my experience with church hurt is I got saved when I was 16, 17, and it wasn't until 2020 that I experienced church hurt for the first time, which I think a lot of people have. What hurt the most as a black woman in society. So then I fell into just this phase of deconstruction and unlearning things. And I think that phase is important to go through. Yes. Every Christian in your walk, you're going to go through that. And it's important to unlearn things too, because there were things that I unlearned in 2020 about the church that I needed to. I think the mistake I made though with church hurt is doing it without God. I think you can walk through church hurt and do it with God. I think understanding the Bible, and that's why it's so important to read your Bible. Because you, and not only read it, but understand it for its context. Yes. I think once you read the Bible in its context, you, like, the weight of all these lies and, like, truth, separating lies and truth, will be a lot easier when you understand the Word of God for what it is. So, relating this back to biblical times, when, in Acts, that's when, like, the revival, like, the, the Holy Spirit was unleashed and we were seeing signs and wonders, all these incredible things, Paul... Someone who was so endowed and devoted to who Jesus was and the life change that he experienced and being able to walk through that. I mean, no one had more church hurt than Paul. No one. I mean, no, no, next one. No one. No one. No one, no one did. And I think he got stranded, was locked up, was stoned by the very, I mean, just to name a few things. I Whoever's listening, you may be a part of an organization that has changed your life. But in the recent coming years and the recent conversations being had, you're conflicted. Do I stay? Do I go? And I'm not going to tell you one thing or the other, but I will say that you need to ask God. Like, literally, I was joking with Kenzie. Um, I call it the great call of 2021. It really called me back into my faith. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. You know, the Great Commission of 2021. But I was having a really honest conversation with Kenzie, and she was like, listen, Dom, I've been going through this deconstruction phase, and I talked about it a little bit. She was just like, listen, Dom, you need to pray. You need to get in your word, and you need to find time to get with God. And I was like, start, you know, choked up. And she was like, Dom, <laughs> when I knew you, <laughs> I basically told her that she was happier and lighter when she was in church and that this had gone on for too long. Yes, <laughs> essentially. But like in a nice way. In, yeah. in a very gentle way. Yeah. But I knew it to be true. Yeah. But at the same time, I was so conflicted because I was still so hurt. angry yeah. and so hurt. And I was like, how dare you? How dare you tell me to go back to the one institution that has just like broken my heart? It wasn't even church. It was more so like God. Though, that yeah. was talking yes. about. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's the thing is through God comes all clarification. God is the God of clarity. Mm -hmm. He's the God of peace, clarity, and any time you follow God, he will lead you to those things. Yes. And I think by God influencing Kenzie to tell me all those things, I'm able to come back into a, a space where I feel good again. I feel light, and I feel like I can tr have trust in not only God, but the local church and its hope in like it being the hope for humanity you know yeah. what i'm saying and like by the way this whole conversation this was also like months and months on it and i had been used to don being the one keeping me in it <laughs> so i when the when the position switched i was like wait a second like this is not what i'm used to this mm -hmm. is very weird and then it was when i was in la and i mean we've had multiple 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 conversations about this and yeah. i mean so many and then like dogs lived with me for months and like this had been a, a long time of whatever, yeah. but I wasn't as the friend because I'd also gone through, obviously not with like systemic racism, but with the actual, another thing that wasn't just like, a, I don't like the church. It was a, it was, 
not something that just happened that was like taken lightly. Yeah. That, you know, sometimes leaving the church for a second, you process and you, it's a, you know, you deconstruct, you reconstruct, you rebuild, and then you, your faith gets stronger sometimes yeah. and your love for the church gets bigger. And I knew, like, when you were coming to me saying all these things, I wasn't going to, like, first off, I could, as you being in the Black Mountain Society, I could never understand. So I was never going to sit there and be like, I get it on yeah. that end. And then also, I was never going to be like, you need to stay in church. Like, you need to do this. It's like, I recognize that you had to process it. Mm-hmm. I hope that this is what it is, what I yeah. want to do. But I recognize that you needed to go through it. And I was not, me telling you to do something at that point wasn't, I just had to like listen to you and be your friend through that. It, it wasn't like I immediately it was like, you know what, you need to pray and you need to talk to God. It was literally like six months into this thing. And I was like, okay, like, I know. Seeing someone walk through church hurt is hard. Especially someone who's gone through it and seeing someone start that phase. For me, I think the best thing that could have happened was you listening to me and you not trying to like justify actions, right? Because I think that's that's something that could cause people to dive deeper into truth. Well, I'm sure they didn't mean it this way, and oh, I'm well, you know, they're doing their best. Okay, well, your best is not good enough. That's another conversation. But in all seriousness. Her, by her validating my experience and by Kenzie just sticking by my side and not wanting to leave me and all these different things, by you doing that, I was able to come out on the other side. But also you leading in truth and love and you telling me in a moment, like in a low moment, out of love, like, hey, dog, listen, I know you're going through a tough time right now, but the very reason you are going through a tough time and you know the truth of who God is is because of this and like we it's time to push you into that space where you need to be with god and you know those are holy spirit moments you can't just do that to anyone it really takes like spending time with jesus which clearly like kenzie does (laughs) so 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 angry and righteously so but through that i would see myself getting further and further away from the truth of who God was because they were in an unhealthy mindset too. And I think back to all the people like Kenzie or mentors or whoever who I just had to like sit and talk with and have them pray for me, pray over me, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, Is what led me back into a place of health where I feel confident like pursuing God again. I guess. Not that I ever... You're working the dog's Christian again. She's yeah. probably not Christian, but it's just... I'm like, I got saved recently. Yeah, I'm sure the church can. Yeah, I can't see what the altar call. <laughs> <laughs> that was really <laughs> good. <laughs> I was like, I cried. But in all seriousness, church hurt is something that I've always been, like, hesitant to talk about because church is the bride of Christ, and I never want to talk about church in a way that would lead some away from it. But I do think that topics like this, when you're in a healthy mindset, are really important to have because... I've been there, you've been there, like there's been so many people who have, I really was, had left the church for a while. (coughs) Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Hey guys, I've been pranked I think because I don't think the kitchen, I mean I know the kitchen, nothing happened to it. Um, Obviously there's been updates here but it still is a mess so yeah, I'm confused because I thought it was starting like officially officially today Obviously like other things started and they went and purchased stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know guys beats me A package from names for good Look at how cute I got a little ke little piper, which is my last name in case you didn't know Um, I love that But I just think they're so cute. So if you guys want to go support go check them out um, I might have a discount code. If I do, I'll put it in the description. And then I got this Highline Wellness CBD oil. I've seen a lot of people post, and mainly Melissa Wood Health posted it. And Melissa Wood Health, like, if she tells me to do something, I'm just going to do it. I'm pretty sure it was her. Um, what did I get on my nail? It's have, like, a black sticker. But anyways, um, I don't really... I sometimes have problems sleeping, and I just... I don't know. I wanted to try it and see what it does, so... This is what I got, Highline William, Highline Wellness Premium CBD Oil. Just heard a lot of good things, okay? Especially, oh, it's plus melatonin. So yeah, exactly, for sleeping, okay. Okay, guys, so this is real life. As you guys saw, first off, I showered. I haven't even brushed my hair out because I just like need to be in bed right now. So <laughs> here we are. This is real life. So we did all of this. There's obviously been so much prep, people a lot of money that I put into this, the whole shoot day, 
you know, just like a lot of work. And we got home, we started importing the footage and I was so excited that the conversation, I literally was on like cloud nine. I was like, this is amazing, perfect, all this stuff, I'm so excited. And then we got back and we started importing footage and realized the audio is messed up on like literally all of it. And it's not even the money. One, it's the people's time that that's number one. It's not even the money. It's just that the conversation that we had, like we're just so good. And I really loved like everything that we touched on. And I felt like we did such a good job on top of like people spending time and like taking time out of their own day and, you know, doing this because I already was like so grateful that they would even do that. And now that it's like messed up, I'm like not, I don't know. I mean, it's really not the best. And I don't even want like the best audio quality. Honestly, the conversations were so good. Like I would take a worse audio quality um, just to have these conversations because they are that good. So we called like an audio tech guy and we're like trying to figure it out, but this is real life. Um, and so I'm sharing with you, but I like love the living room so much. It's like my favorite thing I do. And we were just so excited to like make everything so much better and like start shooting in studio and obviously it's just growing pains and whatever, but yeah, this is a uh, real life and not the best moment ever. Um, I mean, it's just like, it is what it is. It's just one of those things that like, you know, it's like, we'll laugh at it. I'm not like super, super stressed by any means because we haven't even made any decisions on what we're going to do. Um, I'm hoping that someone just says like, it's savable to the point where like the audio will be okay and then we can do it. But, um, yeah, that's been today. So I'm still really grateful. And like, I'm in such a good mood still, even though this is like really a huge bummer just because like it was such a good day, but hopefully we figure it out. By the way, if you guys are new, um, me from the future, we are doing a Zoom um, on the 8th at, I think, 7 p.m. Central. The information will be down below if you're a Patreon member, and that's where we all, like, hang out and stuff. You can, like, the lowest one's, like, $1.99 a month or something, so join, and we will hang out on Zoom. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. Essentially, it seems as though the audio is, like, corrupt. I sent it to producer Taylor last night, and he was like, it seems like there's something wrong with the actual, like, wires of the mic and we don't know if it's savable like he's like basically just said it wasn't um so like we'll see because we only sent him like a small clip but i i don't know there's like so many parts of this but i'm lucky because the girls that i shot with are like good friends of mine and i know they're not gonna be mad and they will only be like the nicest people ever so i'm really grateful for that because if it was other people i can't say that honestly <laughs> But again, you guys already know, like, the money is one thing, which is honestly the smaller thing, even though it should be a bigger thing to me because it was very expensive. And then it's more so, like, the people's times that they took to come. And then also, like, I've been prepping and working on this for, like, two months. So the whole situation sucks, but it's also just, like, one of those things that this stuff happens. And I've been lucky enough in my, like, whole YouTube career and podcasting career to learn that nothing like this has happened to me. I immediately was just kind of in like solution mode but it like sucks but it'll be okay i reached out to a creative agency this morning i, I can't get this finished this is the worst part about it. i'm looking at my solutions and what i can do now so basically i'm pretty sad oh, i'm probably not going to be able to use it which is really sad because the conversations were so good that's the number one thing like the conversations were so 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 good i'm wearing my twin flames right now i don't know what i got there guys don't ask keaton actually facetimed me for like two hours last night so then i felt a lot better reach out to them and like all that happens is like i just reshoot it and it's okay and like yes there's money involved but like we learned our lesson and i should have had a second mic anyways which i plan to do it's honestly just something we forgot to do i might rent a studio rent it all go back i might do it for my house rent a camera i might hire a like production crew type thing and film it here and just make it look cool but like the quality will be a lot better there's options and i'm trying to do it within like the next week because our next launch that's another thing is next week which we are trying to not ever do it so closely but that's just how it works out timing wise in the studio so there are solutions um i will keep you guys posted I'm thank you guys so much for watching i could just scrap this vlog because it's like painful to see me so excited for the studio day but this is also just the reality and it's also like the reality of like being the boss and like working for yourself and stuff you're gonna make mistakes and things that just happen and just like don't beat yourself up for it but i love you guys hope you guys enjoyed the vlog 
Um, I, in all seriousness, the living room content is going to be so good. There's no way around it. It's the only thing I'm doing. Um, I'm working very hard on it. But if you guys haven't already joined, you should because um, we have our Zoom on Monday night. So it's really fun. Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you soon. Okay, bye. I do feel like in our generation, everything revolves around alcohol though. And that's something that I feel like I struggle with as well because I am really passionate about health and wellness and I know how it affects me in a negative way. And I do feel pressured sometimes that I can't say no, like, oh, I don't wanna get a drink at dinner with my friends because I don't want people to say stuff. Like I know my friends would be so supportive and they wouldn't make me feel bad about it.